Hi guys. Little impromptu live. I'm gonna see if some people jump on. Um, as always, uh, if you could like or love the video when you either pop on live or on the replay. Hi Jane. Uh, share this into any private group that you're in. Uh, any team. Hi Nancy. Hi Zyla. Amanda, hi. So obviously this is entitled Three Ways to Overcome the Frustrations of Growing Your Isogenics Business in the Summer and All Year Round because I think people use the summer as a, as a slow time. What's up, Todd, Russell, great to see everybody on here. Mike, Amy. So, so here's the thing. I, I have, I've written down some notes as I always do and, and transparency is that you know I always look at at, at my frustrations and I put them into practice to overcome them and then share them with you guys. So if you guys could uh, like or love the video, definitely share this into any private team groups you guys are in. These are, there's a lot of people feeling this right now. Energetically, I don't, as I've gotten more self-aware energetically, um, not energetically, I'm starting to feel people's frustrations. Um, through just conversation or just what I, I see around there. So say hi and where you're coming from, uh, coming in from. Hi, Tricia, Michelle, and um, let's, let's be completely transparent. Clem, what's up? Type Y or yes in the chat box if you have or currently are slightly or greatly frustrated with where your business is is and, and where you want it to grow to. So full transparency, why or yes, in the comment section. What's up, Brian? And again, please like or love the video. Share this into a private group. And Amy says yes. And Alana says, hey, Scott, Manitoba, great to see you on here. Amanda says yes. So th this is really good for you guys. Like I want you guys to feel free to, to cleanse yourself of these frustrations. So in the chat box, what are some things that are frustrating you right now? Michelle says hi and yes. What are some things that are frustrating you? So type in the chat box. It can be throughout this entire live or on the replay. Dawn says, yeah, hey Scott. Alana says, nope. So, you know, full transparency, you know, what are some of the things that you guys are frustrated with? Because it's, it's important to understand that there is a way to overcome everything. Hi, Melissa. And I wrote down three simple things that we can all do to overcome these things. And it's really important to understand that everything can be overcome. So if you're just coming on, please feel free to like or love the live. Share this into any private groups that you guys have. You know, we, we all want to overcome these things together. So number one, this may sound very, very simplistic. Um, and Dawn says, uh, attrition on her team, which obviously is very, very common. So we can go over that. So I talked about this with Nancy last Sunday. Amanda says, no. Uh, I'm not isogenic spot beach body, but I deal with the same. People seem to want to take time off from products in the summer and for some reason. Okay, good. So, Michael, what's up? So, number one, uh, the number one way of overcoming the frustrations of growing your isogenics business in the summer or any time of year is being grateful for the journey. So, what I've learned, and I know this may sound kind of strange but what i've learned is that there's a lesson in every aspect of the growth or decline of your business you know my business constantly goes up down up down up down all the time because that is the the norm of network marketing even the people that are at the top they've gone through those dips michelle says overcoming your fear of success so i'm going to touch on that because i i don't know as far as the fear of success, I think that's in the eye of the beholder. I think everyone has a different definition of success. But being grateful for the journey, 
where you are right now, being grateful and appreciative for the lesson that you're learning through this. If, if you're going through a dry spell in enrollments, uh, if people are sending things back, if you're losing consultants, if you're going through some money challenges, these are all lessons. It, it, they're the, it's the universe screaming at you to pay attention, to take something away from this. If that all makes sense, please type Y or yes in the chat box and pound right back to you, Don. Hi, Tracy, Chris, Betsy, welcome. Because you guys have to understand pouring gratitude into your journey will make you feel so much better about where you're going or where you haven't gotten to yet. Donna, good to see you on here. And Melissa says yes. So Amanda says she agrees. Good, because Amy says it makes it feel better to think of it this way. And, and, and Amy, I get it. You know, we, we all go through money challenges. We all go through slumps. And, and, and what do we do? We start thinking that we're doing something wrong. We're not doing anything wrong. What I have come to realize in a business like network marketing where your production di is directly related to what the people underneath you are or are not doing. So if you're on a team, obviously with a, with a pay plan like Isagenix has, you have two teams. You know, one is being built collectively with you know your upline and your downline. The other side, you you're responsible for getting it to grow. But if people aren't building with you, that's where people get the most frustrated. Spencer, what's up, brother? Amanda says it's finding the right person, and that's exactly right. Scotty, what's up? It's about finding the right people. But most people, this is what happens: you get frustrated about where your business is not. So you start getting frustrated and angry and, and, and down and questioning yourself. So then energetically, instead of you being grateful for the journey and the lessons you're learning, you're taking that energy, you're turning it into frustrations, and it's blocking the flow of you letting some new people into your business. And again, I know it sounds easier said than done. And I've had a I've had a challenging week this week, and there's a lot of lessons that I'm I'm being very open and present to those lessons, because I've been having a ton of conversations this week, and I think you know something that Nancy and I uh, obviously went on and uh, went about is is do not your expectations lead to your frustrations, so and your disappointments. So I had some expectations this week, you know they haven't met, but you know what. What is happening this week was supposed to happen. Hi, Lorraine. Welcome. So when we can start to set aside the fact that our frustrations are completely related to maybe a lesson that we should be learning and being grateful for it, then it starts to push us in a much different direction. And Amanda says, yes, you see those who are doing well and moving up. Then you get frustrated with yourself not being as successful. Absolutely. Comparison is the thief of joy. Instead of comparing, create. And here's the thing. What's up, Richard? Here's the thing. Um, we're supposed to be, you know, we have our uplines to, to relate to, to coach with and mentor with. And everyone's in a different position in their life and their business. But there's a big picture here. There's a big picture here. There's one person that controls all of this, and that's ourselves. So you have to be careful about where that energy is flowing. If your energy is flowing towards all of the frustrations and all of the things that aren't happening, you're closing the door of all of the things that could walk in and could happen to you. So number one is as difficult and challenging as it may be at some times in this journey, be grateful for where you are and the lessons that you're learning. So if that all makes sense so far, why or yes in the chat box. And if you guys could, if you feel compelled, share this with your teams. Share this video because a lot of people are feeling this way. I know it. Whether they say it or not, they could be watching and not commenting. I know people are feeling a certain way because I feel it too. We're all feeling it. And even the people at the top of every company, everyone feels it. Whether they talk about it or not, it's good to be transparent and open. I and mean, this is exactly I use I, I used to focus on my team. Now I focus on me. 
and what I can do, definitely the typical times. Amanda says, yes. Shinji with sub Zyla says, yes. Good. Now, Lorraine says, yes. Number one, uh, number one is be grateful. Number two, and this is something that I, I learned, um, you know, from, from people that I've spoken to in this business. My friend Gina says this all the time. Be a human being. Don't forget that this business is built around being a human being, talking to people. Tom says, this is a marathon, not a sprint. Just keep going. Thoughts become things. Enjoy the journey. Absolutely. Be a human being. Look to talk to people. Look to connect. Look to just engage with people. Sometimes people get so caught up in their head that you you shut down. You you you're energetically you're giving off energy and vibrations that people don't want to be around. Don't forget, part of this business is being a connector, being a conversationalist, being someone that cares about others. And if you're so caught up in yourself and all of the things that are or are not happening, it's going to rob you of the joy of this journey. You have to be a human being. You have to enjoy all the ups, all the downs, all the bumps in the roads, the, 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 the cuts, the scrapes, the bumps, the bruises, all of it. It matters. If that all makes sense, please type Y or yes in the chat box. And again, like or love the video. Please share this content. You don't know sharing this and letting someone else hear this. You don't know what it might do for them in their business journey. Denise says, preach 100%. So I want to get real and raw for a second. And, uh, and everyone hears me. Everyone hears me all the time talk about this. This business, network marketing, Isogenics, Beachbody, Herbalife, whatever company you're with, Kiani, network marketing is all built upon the same thing. The core foundation, the core foundation of any network marketing business is people. Without people, you don't have a business. Leads are the lifeline to this business. Leads are people. And full transparency, I'm going to ask you guys, whether you're on the replay or on the live, type I am if you're frustrated with the amount of people that you are not talking to. You are not talking to enough people. You are not enrolling enough people. You're not bringing enough people into your network. Type I am if you are frustrated with the amount of conversations you are not having. Because acknowledge that you're in a place and a space that is uncomfortable. Denise says, I am. And Denise, I applaud you. Lorraine says, I am. Um, you guys are amazing because acknowledging where you're not liking and where you're unhappy is one of the first steps in, in learning from that lesson. And everyone should be typing, I am. Because you should never be comfortable with how many leads you have. You should always want more. I'm enrolling, but it's exhausting, convincing, non-like-minded people. We are not in the business to convince. So you have to find new avenues for leads, whether that's social media, meetup groups, BNI, networking. What's up, Dennis? Hi, Catherine. So 
the most important key, and just for the people that are popping on, just remember three things that you can do to overcome your frustrations. Be grateful for the journey and where you are. Don't forget being a human being. You're a human being, but number three and most important, three ways to overcome all of this. You have to find new people. You, you, it is paramount. This business, if you sit and you wait, you have people in your business, and you're like, all right, I got a couple rock stars, I'm good. I'm just gonna sit back, I'm gonna micromanage, and no. No one is guaranteed, you are always looking to add to your pot, always. You're always looking to add people to your tree. Any great network marketer is never getting comfortable with where they are. And if they're the type of network marketer where they're just sitting there, they have a builder on the left, builder on the right, and they're like this, that's not doing this business with integrity. That means they have stopped trying to change or attempting to change someone else's life. Because when you stop sharing this gift and giving this gift, it stops the flow of your business and eventually those people will drop off. Not all of them, but a good portion of them. Not, no one is guaranteed to stay in network marketing for the rest of their life. Things come up, challenges happen, and when the going gets tough, the tough get going. But if that person is not built for those challenges, they stop. And no one puts in their two, week no, two weeks notice in network marketing. They're not saying, hey, Amanda, you know what? Here's, here's my notice. I'm, I'm, I'm resigning my position from Beachbody. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a break. People just slowly creep out the back door. And that's how it goes. So what you guys have to understand is that outside of being grateful for this journey and remembering to be a human being and connecting, you need more people. You need leads. Leads are the lifeline to this business. Hi, Monica. Hi, Kelly. Say hi and where you're coming in from. And please, guys, if you haven't done so, please share this with others. Share this with your private teams. Share this with your groups. Amanda says, knowing your why helps too. Gives people, gives people to help people peak interest. In my opinion, when I post my fitness pictures, it's when people contact me. And again, just guys, remember, this is more than just being a cleanse coach. This is more than just shakes. This is about teaching people residual income. Teaching people, hi Kelly, hi Allison. And there's Kelly, one of my rock star amazing friends that just jumped on here. And I've learned from Kelly, we've learned from each other. And Kelly, we're just talking about, there's always frustrations in your network marketing journey. Without leads, there is no business. Without being grateful, there's no joy. Without being a human being, there is no connecting. I know this all sounds very simplistic because it is. People make this journey much more difficult than it needs to be. Thank you, Denise. Liza says, making connections, networking, and new leads is simple. The struggle for me is getting people to take the advice and the solutions. And I agree. And hold on for one second. You can let them in. All right. The simple solution is this. It's turning over more stones. It's connecting with more people. We are all one or two people away from taking this to other levels. That's what people miss. We stop at the nose when the yeses are right behind that next door. And instead of getting frustrated that people aren't seeing the vision, the most important person in this entire equation that gets the vision, gets the idea, gets the process, is you. As long as you get it and you keep painting that picture, you will become a Picasso. And you will paint this picture so well that it's gonna be hard for someone to say no. I connected with a guy last Friday on LinkedIn, signed up with the premium pack right away, enrolled his first person two days ago, and he's enrolling someone tonight. Like that, I painted the picture, I closed him in seven minutes. 
Liza said, not stopping in for the long haul. You're not committing for any other reason than committing for yourself. Because you guys deserve this. You guys deserve to feel and look your best for yourself and your families and the legacy. This is more than just a product experience. This is residual income at its finest, the best business model out there. It's not a Ponzi. It's not a, py a pyramid scheme. It's not like Enron. This is about finding a few quality good people that find a few quality good people that find a few quality good people and then it explodes. Marie Sindel, uh, Sindel, welcome. I can't tell you guys how important it is to embrace this journey, to look for new lead sources like I do every single day on LinkedIn, to be grateful for the journey no matter how bad the bad gets and how high the highs get. There's a lesson in all of it. So remember, be grateful for the journey every step of the way. Don't forget to be a human being. And don't forget, always find new avenues for leads because without leads, without conversations, there is no business. I love you all so much. Never give up. Never quit. Never give up on yourself. Never quit the positive mindset. Because don't forget, the minute you stop, you're closing that door for the opportunity for that person to walk in. Love you guys so much. Enjoy, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye, everybody.